morning, good evening, depending where you are. Today I'm here with Anya Pe Ana Penue Peñuelas. Sorry, I <laughs> your last name. Complex <laughs> creation specialist. And we have a lot of things to share in the talk today. Hello, Anna, how are you? Hi, Gemma. Thank you very much for having me. And don't worry about my surname. It happens all the time. <laughs> Yes, I'm really fine with that. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, my surname disappears when you go out of Spain. Oh, uh, that's true. You know, yeah, I, I translate my surname in Penuelas, which is, well, <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> people can say it. <laughs> Wait, oh, like, Penuelas. Sorry. Congrats for the channel and congrats for the activities and initiatives that you uh, have on the go right now. Thank you very much, Anna, and thank you for being here with us and sharing your time. My and pleasure. Coffee. No, actually, I don't have a coffee. I have a water with lemon, but hey. it's okay. <laughs> and, Anna, can you introduce yourself and tell to the audience a little what you do and what is your background so then they know? Sure, yeah. Uh, well, my profile is a combination of uh, language and communication because uh, I started tra um, studying translation and interpretation um, uh, when I was like, well, when I was a baby. And uh, um, I have continued during my professional career uh, developing this activity, uh, mainly for public services. Um, right now I interpret for um, public Spanish public services here for people who live uh, in Spain and cannot speak Spanish and I do that link. Um, so this is one part of my job and um, obviously it is uh, completely related to communications because it mm -hmm. is easier. So um, the other part of my job um, is communications part on the uh, content creation um, focus. Um, this uh, language experience and education uh, and my experience in preview, I mean, in corporate and in, in companies um, make me think of how much I love and, and how comfortable I feel when, when writing. So um, when I decided um, becoming a freelancer, I had clear that content creation uh, was going to be one of my main focus. Um, content creation means uh, um, middle road uh, between copywriting and uh, informative content. Um, I place myself in the middle of that. Sometimes I work uh, with companies for commercial purposes and some others for informative purposes. So this is more or less what I do. I do many other things, but these are my main focuses right now. No, but it's good because you have more, more rich and it's a good combination. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The, uh, the scope that I can reach is really wide and I can, well, I can take part in different projects, which is something that, I, that I'm very interested in right now. Yeah, that's good. And you can learn many different things. Yeah, exactly. That's a good thing for working in different projects. I love it. That's a good thing to yeah. work with you, that you can learn a lot from different things. You meet people like you, for yeah. example, and me. Uh, that's very interesting because you, you can take the best of everybody and yes. uh, you are aware of other abilities that you don't have and, and your colleagues have. Uh, so you can, I mean, it's a learning process, a, a continue. Uh, learning process and it's very interesting. And, and nowadays, um, I think society needs um, well versatile professional uh, yeah professionals more than um, specific professionals at least in the communications area. Yeah, we need to be creative and yeah, and all that. And what do you think are the most important skills for a content creator? What do you think you should have to start creating content? Well, maybe it could mm, be very obvious uh, that. And I'm about to ask you if you agree with me. But for me, the first of all, the, the, the in capital letters uh, would be listening. Um, before starting anything, uh, it's for me it's crucial to listen to the customer, um, having in mind 
the, the needs, uh, what they want, well, what the, the customer needs, what the customer wants, um, uh, what are her or his um, goals. So, I mean, to be aligned with the customer is for me the first of all, um, uh, the, the, yeah, the first uh, um, ability or necessity that any content creator should have. Mm -hmm. um, do you agree? What do you think? Yeah, yeah yes, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know me. <laughs> you know, I'm like, listen. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, after that, I'm going from global to more specific. Um, next one, I would say um, having a, a good idea or a wide idea of how business, uh, how companies work better. Yeah, companies work is um, can help a lot to the um, content creator because at least my experience uh, tells me that um, I gave support to uh, different CEOs and executives in the past and I had the opportunity to know the, I mean, anything in uh, any internal uh, link and methodology and department and area in companies in big small and medium size so having that in mind when you create content you can take into account the different i mean how many different roles or how many different players are uh, in the company when you um when you're doing your job in the case of a big company, for example, if you're working with a freelancer or an influencer, it could be easier because you can adapt to that person. But when you're working with companies, you have to take into account a lot of things. And it's good to have that wide knowledge of, of the business or of, uh, and the company. Um, what else? Um, yeah, language. I mean, the language. Uh, Having a good knowledge of the language you're work you're working with, uh, it's well, I would say it's very <laughs> that you cannot do anything. Um, but I would say that you need to allow yourself to make mistakes. I mean, you you have to do your best with any work you deliver. But at the same time, um, people working with languages tend to be uh, really disciplined and uh well sometimes we cross the line i mean sometimes we need to relax so i think uh, you have to do your best but we are human beings so we make mistakes sometimes so don't work i mean nothing happens <laughs> yeah, true. honesty which is the next i would say um honesty it is something that has to go with you uh during your whole life and when you cannot reach uh, a goal or when you cannot do a job, it's better to know, um, I mean, it's better to, to speak with your customer and, and, well, and share what you feel and what you can do or what you cannot do. Um, I think this, this is very important. And more or less, yeah, I, I would say those are the main features that I have in my, in my mind right now, yeah, for the content creation uh, professionals. And what do you think works in writing is really important nowadays? Uh, good question, Gemma. Good question. Um, well, um, the knowing, knowing again, knowing uh, your customers' uh, goals, and that means the targeted public. I mean, the audience you're writing for. Uh, I would say this is the first number one. Uh, if you don't know who are you writing for, um, well, text may, text, when I say text, I mean scripts, I mean every, any type of, uh, of text can um, lose the, the meaning. So uh, once you know the audience, um, at least in my, in my case, I think it's very important to do a good research. A good research doesn't mean um, just having a look at Google uh, to see what appears when you say, I don't know, content creation. Now, that means looking for um, trustworthy resources. Um, I don't know, sometimes I use uh, Deep Dive or um, Google Scholar or, I mean, 
um, any uh, information banks where you can find articles and um, uh, peer compared um, information, uh, which is um, well, which is proved. And uh, with that research, you can start like building a, a, an upline, more or less an upline. Um, but always having in mind that content uh, means that you need to. I mean, you need to think, try to think twice what you are asked to do and then which other perspective you can provide for that same content. Mm -hmm. um, I think that that makes content unique because if not, what you do is copying mm -hmm. what any other person has said. So creating a unique and relevant content is, I think, is, is crucial in this, well, this competitive um, world we are working so um, yeah I think it's, it's, it's really important and um, well and reading and reading and reading again um, the newspapers the latest information on, on your field and also your test if you read it like 100 times the 101 time you will find something to change so <laughs> I think reading and proofreading and, and doing again um, is I mean I think you have to be really methodic. You, you have to follow really uh, specific steps um, so that you make sure you have done everything you have to do. Yeah, that's right. I agree with you. And also, what you say about knowing your customers is really important because you don't yeah. talk your way to I don't know to someone working in NASP, to work someone working in a nightclub. You have to communicate with the terms that they understand. Otherwise. Exactly. Yeah. It's written, but no one is going to understand. You get lost. You get lost. Yeah. yeah. This is not for me. It's not my product. Yeah. Simplicity. Um, sorry. I, I I will add this uh, part. Thank you for the comment because I think simplicity in the sense of um, clear language is uh, mm -hmm. crucial because um, uh, you, you don't have to. I mean, there's no need to use technical words mm -hmm. unless it's necessary. Uh, for everybody to understand what you're trying to say. You can say it with small sentences and simple words. So, yeah, I agree with you. Simple, I mean, the simplest, the best. Yeah, the way they communicate. The same when you talk with teenagers, for example, you cannot talk like the same way that you talk to a lawyer. They will be like, okay, what's, what? what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> I completely agree. <laughs> you're right, yeah. <laughs> And what you, a lot of people say that the, the videos are taking the space of the written world. And well, I have my own opinion that I will keep for myself. But I would like to know what do you think about it? Well, it, it's, a, it's a good point to discuss because uh, it's something I've been thinking about for uh, a long time. Uh, I think, I mean, there are people for and against these, um, uh, this video taking place of written words. I would say the uh, content is not the king anymore. Video is the king, <laughs> the new king, I would say. Because um, new generations, uh, they like they swallow the content through video easily than we used to do. So I think um, I, I couldn't say anything about the video, but about the uh, written words disappearing, not disappearing, uh, yeah. Really, but yeah, um, I don't think that they will disappear because maybe in the way we know that, we know them right now, I mean, like uh, long posts and things like that, I don't know, that, that could be different, but we cannot forget that video platforms also need meta descriptions, they need keywords, and they need scripts. I mean, any YouTuber should uh, prepare a script before uh, recording. So I think written word will um, be necessary, um, I would say always. Uh, maybe in different formats, in different, uh, for different purposes, but yeah, they will be necessary. It's a good question. For this company. Yeah, because it's, it's something that everyone is talking about. Everyone working yeah. with marketing communications. They know you must must do videos. It's a must. But well, I also the I think it depends the situation. 
I think yeah. you cannot talk in general for everything. It depends your target. Also, the same thing before. You need to know to who you are talking. And depending to who you are talking, what kind of people. Some people is really analytical and they need to see numbers and graphics. And so. And yeah. what, what we were saying about the new generation, uh, generations, I mean, young people, uh, we, we all have clear that uh, they need video because it's what they need. I mean, five year old uh, children, they see everything um, on YouTube or on Netflix or on any other platform because it's what their parents know. But the, mm -hmm. what you say, depending on the brand, depending on, on the person you're working with or the interest of the audience, um, you may have different choices of content, of course. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's what the moment you are. For example, for me, I use a lot of videos. When I need to find something, I go to YouTube and I, I watch videos. But if I'm on holidays, I like a paper, a book with paper and disconnect from the internet and everything and just read. So I think it's place for everything. But In my case, even more. Maybe it's because of age, I don't know. But <laughs> I, I need books to be touched. I mean, I like electronic uh, books because maybe I'm working with a computer during all day um, I love having the book in my, I mean, in my mind, in my hands, and uh, just enjoying the touch, the feel, the smell. But I don't know if it's a question of age. <laughs> because I have one daughter, and she's ten, and she likes the books also. Oh, thank God! That's good yeah. to know. <laughs> As a person, and what they at home also. It's lovely to know that a teen-year-old girl. Yeah, that's good for me. <laughs> Well, I, I like books. But I don't like to read books in a screen, but I I, I listen to iBooks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I don't have time, so when I'm doing things, I listen to books. And that helps. Yeah, and the, I, mean, I mean, in the last year, there um, they have increased, I mean, the number of people who audio, uh, I mean, who listen to books have increased. Yeah, sometimes being rushed, and going, I mean, driving, or when you go in a plane, or yeah, it's, it provides you with the opportunity to enjoy the book and without maybe making the effort for the eyes. So it's a good, yeah, it's a, I think it's a good option more and more now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's good, it's good. And coming back to the content creator, how do you think the content, the content can impact in the brand reputation? Mm. Um, well, words, as the title of this discussion uh, may say, uh, I think words have power. So they have the power to, um, uh, to, yeah, to raise the company or brand, or they have the power to do the contrary. So uh, content creators, uh, and I would say specifically copywriters, they have, I mean, they have a great responsibility um, uh, in their hands because, uh, I mean, how they express um, or uh, the voice that they publish or they post on behalf of a brand can, uh, well, can be very welcomed by the public, by the audience or it could be a problem. Some, we all know many cases in which the, um, uh, what it's been posted in, in social media has, uh, well, has provoked, um, well, many obstacles for companies. For, uh, I know a case uh, for a, um, an airplanes company and um, it was a, a, a really big problem because of words. I mean, because of the words that they used in social media. So I think content creators and copywriters can have a really great um, uh, impact on the brand, on any brand's reputation because they can avoid um, specifically those misunderstandings and, uh, um, and, and those problems that can arise in the social media because we have, I mean, we're very lucky uh, for having social media, media because we can um, generate conversation with audiences. We can, um, yeah, we can speak with the customers straightforward. But on the other hand, we need to be very careful because we have everybody. Yes. 
in the same box. So um, I think it's crucial. I mean, the community manager along with the copywriter, both um, both roles in, in in a company or yeah, working for the same project. I think they they're crucial in order to um, well generating and maintaining that uh, brand reputation. That's yes, my I completely opinion. agree. That's one thing that I always say to everyone that when you talk, like now we are talking in a video, you have the facial expression. You see that we are happy, that we are relaxed, we are enjoying our time. But if you read the same words, it also depends on what you are feeling when you yeah. receive words. So you need to be aware the words you use, because depending how the people that read you is feeling at that moment, if the person is mad, it can interpret the words completely different than one person that is happy. Absolutely. It's really important to know the words you are using. It. Some people say, no, words is not important. It's the way you say it. And they say, no, anymore. <laughs> because when you write, you only have the words. Yeah. So the we always run the risk to, uh, for the, I mean, for the, not to be liked by everybody, but we cannot, yeah, uh, that goal in mind. I mean, yeah, of course. That we cannot like everybody, but we have to, uh, have very clear the audience specific mm -hmm. i mean for that that you were mentioning because if you know that you can speak to those people yeah um, if you know that they have a pain a problem and you say it with the wrong words you can make them feel bad and your intention can be completely different but but you don't know you need to be careful with that yeah the words are really powerful yeah, words have a lot of power yeah. you them for bad <laughs> Relation, yeah, in relationships of any kind. I mean, this is a business relationship, but uh, between friends, between colleagues, between relatives. So I think, yeah, words have a lot of power in both senses. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. yeah and it's true. And when you know the person, you don't make mistakes because you understand the person. It's yeah. one thing that I always say to everyone. When in social media, you write a sentence and at the end you put a period. The people feel really bad about it. But some people, because they are used to emails and letters, they put a period at the end. And there are many studies that say that the people feel bad. They think that, oh, you are you don't want to talk anymore, you are mad. The people interpret in a really negative way. Yeah. You know the person, I know some people that they write at that at the end. And but I know them and I know they are not mad. It's the way of talking because they are not they are used to the formal written. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and people use social media as a chat. So when you put it there, it's, it's weird. So if you, it's a person that you don't know, it's new to you, and you put the period, it's like, okay, how should I interpret this? <laughs> should yeah. I start with it? Or is... <laughs> exactly. And I mean, when I say words, we um, also have to take into account emojis and every graphic um, element that we uh, post Yes. On an article or any well or on social media yeah everything has an impact everything um but what you need to know is what type of impact yes <laughs> important negative uh well no nothing happens uh sometimes that nothing happens means that you have a problem so yeah uh, i mean words when i say words you're right um i mean everything that it that goes with the, the, the text yes typically. so yeah 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 you, you need to be very careful <laughs> yes. well, it's really, it was really interesting Anna do you have any tip that you want to say to close the talk any tip that you the most important uh, thing about um, and work that you want to share? I would say it's something very personal but uh, I think uh, it's very for me at least it's very important to believe in yourself I mean uh, there's so many forces out there that tell you that maybe you're not doing um, um, maybe the best or that you can do it better or you oh you don't do it very well well there, the competence is like uh, pushing um, really strongly so I would say believing in yourself um, having the strength to uh, to think that you can do it uh, when creating content, which is really risky. Um, I would say that that's what I try to do every day. <laughs> it's, it's very difficult. Yeah, it's. I, I mean, I, I love it. Um, I'm very passionate about it. But uh, on the other hand, I I know how difficult it is. So uh, believing in yourself, I think is I think is um, well 
something that it that can help uh, colleagues um, that do the same or, or we are trying to do the same yeah yes always is, it's a good tip it's always good to start walking yeah <laughs> at the end you do it better every time yeah of course you can improve all the time and it's great so that's why you don't need to punish yourself uh yeah yeah thank you very much anna it was thank a pleasure you. Have you here. Sure. <laughs> thank you so much thank you have a nice day you too bye bye, -bye.